Alright guys, in this video we're going to be looking at how to avoid some common problems and um, errors that people usually get report on these Chinese USB ASP programmers and let's try to program our ESC as you can see in this picture we have all connections made properly okay so we select USB ASP for this programmer we we'll keep this setting at USB make sure your baud rate is 19200 we we'll select the proper at mega chip that's on our ESC select the latest version why not to and you try to flash it and this is typical error that you get it tells you that this device was not found and I was like what the heck maybe I have different version my software on it so I tried to download a ready uh, to be programmed hex files to reflash my Chinese USB ASP cables obviously I thought that that's problem with the software not correctly installed or something else going on but as it turned out that's not the case all you have to do is to make sure you have correctly installed your drivers and for USB ASP uh, you use this Zadig uh, software to install drivers it can be found right here on this main page for these programmers you just have to download it and zip it run it and what I typically did when you run it usually you don't see these options so you have to go here to options and enable list all devices after that you select USB ASP and that has to be plugged into your USB and that's what I was doing these drivers do not work that's what's not that problem so you select I use this lib USB K and you make sure this is USB ASP replace the driver it will ask you if you want to proceed click yes and after that let's give it a try one more time so everything is the same settings our programmer cable is connected to ESC chip and as you can see it's successfully writing and reading from the chip and you're all done so that was one of the problems the other typical error that people get is this one initialization failed target doesn't answer SCK period etc and the reason for this problem comes from improper connections you may have a loose connection on the socket that you're connecting to your chip on ESC or on other devices so you have to make sure that all those six pins from your programming cable are connecting to the target chip all right guys hopefully that lets you use your programming tool successfully if you like this video go ahead and like it if you didn't like it why not to leave a comment and let me know maybe there's something else i can add and with that i wish you good luck with your project